Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Leo and I'm excited to show you how our state x region splitting calculator program works. This tool will help you determine the optimal number of regions for effective governance. So let's start by taking a look at our program. Demographics uh, you'll see here demographics, um, geography, socioeconomics, behavior qualities, and governor. Keep in mind that input values should be falling between 0 and 100 and, and we'll round up that result into the nearest hundreds so this is the line where it's going to have the condition where it falls between 0 and 100 and this and then this is the condition where it will round round the number up to the nearest whole number so this is the algorithm so let's run the program so here the program asks us to enter to start our calculations here we can enter 1 and red then 75 for geographic then 54 socioeconomic and 44 behavior and the number of governors are 10 so that is our so the provided factors states should be divided into seven regions hmm. now let's try another case for case two so let's run the program again now let's try 71 and then 59 then 99 33 18 for governor so the number of regions should be divided to 12 as the program says Again, let's try another. Just now, the number of demographics is eight sixty-eight. Then fifty-six for the geography. Then eighty-two for the socioeconomic. Then sixty-two for the behavioral quant qualities. And thirteen for the governor. Thirteen. And the program says it should be nine, nine regions. Now let's try another case. So this is the fourth case. Let's try ninety four, ninety four, seventy five, ninety nine for the socioeconomic 90 for the behavioral and 8 for the governor now it says here it should be divided into 8 regions then let's try the 5th case which is 3 so the 5th case is let's give it 93 for the demographics 56 for the geography 29 for the socioeconomic 60 for the behavioral and 4 for the governor and it states here it should be divided into 3 regions so that's our 
test cases. Now, in the next scenario, I'll demonstrate what happens when we enter invalid input, such as demographic exiting one and red. Let's let's try it. Let's try running it. So what if we put more than more than 100 so the program tells you that it should be entered between 0 and 100 so it rejects it it rejects the input if it exists 100 Now let's try it again. Red. Two and three. Two. Put one. So what if we put zero in the governor? What happens? Let's see. So based on the provided factors, state X should be divided into zero regions. Since there's no governor. There will be no, it can't be divided into regions since there's no governors. Now, let's say we put one. So in the next test, let's try putting 100 for each factors, including governor. So, the calculator says, uh, stated that it should be divided into 100 regions. <laughs> Another test, which is 0. Let's put 0 to every, every factor, factors. So, as, a, as expected, it should be divided into 100 zero regions. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. I hope you find that informative and helpful in understanding how to use our state region splitting calculator. If you have any question further or other assistance, feel free to reach out in the comment, comment section. Thank you for watching.